what you can get is to the point that you're a marketer instead of a prospector and seller, which those two things most people don't like. You mentioned lawyers so if you talk to say Ben Glass in our world, who provides marketing coaching, that really grew from magnetic marketing, to lawyers but also still operates a very successful law practice. What Ben will tell you is that magnetic marketing brings to him a pre-qualified, predetermined prospective client who is really there to hire him if they can, as opposed to a skeptical, anxious, nervous, perhaps fee-resistant, difficult client who must be convinced from the very ground zero to completion to hire him. That's fatiguing. Nothing is more fatiguing for me, and I avoid it almost with perfection is having a new client coming to spend a day with me who is not already sold on me and on my approach to marketing because I am going to be a tired puppy at the end of the day. If I had to do 10 of those days in a row, I wouldn't be here because I would be dead. I would have put the gun in the mouth long ago and checked out. That really just takes the heart out of people in many of their businesses and that's totally unnecessary. This can replace it. The other thing that it does is it puts you in control. That was the biggest thing for me, I am actually in control of this. I can do some more marketing and generate business. I can turn it on, I can turn it off, I can turn it up. I can have leads coming in when I'm on vacation. I'm in control and at least for me it was super fun. It was so much fun that I started generating the leads and I was so excited and I was, oh man, I've got to go and do the show now. We hear that a lot. Ben would say the same thing, for example. He likes to practice law but, if you told him he could only do one of two things, market a law practice, as he now knows how to do, or practice law, if he were to pick one, he is picking the former not the latter. We hear that a lot. I think that someone's sustainability in business really has to do with systems. GM can tell you how many cars they are going to make next week, what they don't know how to do is tell you exactly how many cars they're going to sell next week. They could but they don't know anything about this. Some dealers do. So there are dealers and there are people who came from magnetic marketing who now work only with car dealers and teach them how to know that. Essentially you can get to nearly as many predictable knowns with marketing systems as you have with operations systems.